welcome to my shop my stash review for the month of september 2021 i want to go quickly through these products tell you my thoughts and then go ahead and show you how i'm shopping my stash for the month of october so for this month i had the nars radiance primer and i had the wet and wild the impossible primer both of these are very good if i had to pick one of them to keep it would probably be the nars i like the formula of this the radiance i have that on my face today um, i like this one a lot too though but i prefer it only really in the t-zone i don't like it on my cheeks as much because i think it affects my highlight so those are the two primers that i had for foundation i had the wet and wild photo focus dewy version and i had the lys triple fix serum foundation which also became an allure best of beauty award so i really use this one quite a bit this month i love both of these i really couldn't pick one over the other i actually have the wet and wild on today i like it very much and i did purchase the matte version of the wet and wild and i have a video already filmed where i wear one half of my face with the dewy and one with the matte so if for some reason you have one of these and you wonder should you get the other you're going to get to see what the difference is between the two both are great and this one's a very nice light to medium foundation with built-in skincare ingredients for corrector i use my nars corrector this is really probably one of my favorite correctors of all time i love it i think it is so easy to use and then i also pulled out this nyx corrector it's just a little bit too greasy for under my eyes it just affects the creasing that i have with a concealer so i don't love this product i don't know that i would recommend picking this one up for concealer this month i was using the jouet full coverage concealer this is the high coverage liquid concealer and the maybelline superstay full coverage concealer so both high and full and they are full coverage this one is definitely more full coverage than this one i happen to have this one on today but i really like both of these you need the tiniest amount of this concealer to make it work so be very careful with that because if you have too much it will really go crazy with the creasing this one you can use a little bit more it's a little bit more liquid type of a formula both very very nice i recommend both for eye primer and i'm not going to pick eye primer in the future because it's kind of a boring category i think but i picked this one from catrice which i'm going to declutter it's actually not made anymore and i'm glad i did get to use it because it's nice for me to be able to declutter things it's not very good so i i'm not surprised that they got rid of it um and i use my mac painterly paint pot which i love this is a great eyeshadow primer um i will always kind of have this in my collection because it is so good for powder this month i picked the nyx can't stop won't stop mattifying powder and i also picked the urban decay this is actually a powder foundation but i i use powder foundations a lot for kind of setting my makeup um i like both of these they're both very nice i would say this is very nice for the drugstore um there's it's a very good product it does a nice job it's not cakey this is the one i have on my skin today and you can see the glow is still there it takes down any excess shine that you don't want and it does set your makeup really well it even sets very nicely under the eyes for bronzer i didn't have a clear winner either i used my thrive cosmetics i love the sun chaser bronzer in raya i think this is a beautiful bronzer this is the one i have on my face today and this maybelline city bronzer is just beautiful it looks so light in the pan it looks like it's not going to be much in the pan but it's beautiful it's very creamy it's such a nice formula i love this one from the drugstore for blush i had a clear winner and it was drugstore i picked this catrice blush box it's like a mosaic blush and it's really pretty this one's called wine o'clock it's what i have on today i love this blush it's a nice pigment it lasts for a long time and then i picked a nars blush i started off with this bumpy ride which was just too not pigmented enough and then i started using this more as a topper i went back in and got another nars blush deep throat and this one again it was hard to build the pigment 
and it didn't last very long. And I don't know, again, if blushes have just gotten that much better. I used to think this NARS blush formula was everything. And now I'm wondering because even this little Catrice, I mean, I barely needed any and it just, the pigment is there and the lasting power is there. So this one definitely beat and I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna be picking up any more NARS blushes. They really do need to change this formula now. Highlighter, I had two winners also. This is a beautiful highlight from Milani. This is the Dolce Perla Baked Highlighter. It's beautiful, it's soft, it's easy. It's what I have on my face today. And I also love this Bare Minerals Highlighter. Um, this is in the shade Free. It's just a beautiful, healthy glow. Very, very nice. I love this one as well. Moving on to eyeshadow palettes. I liked both of my palettes. I didn't love either of them. First, I had the e.l.f. palette, and I really do like this. This is called Opposites Attract, but I will say I didn't venture at all into this side and stayed over here, and these were very, very pretty. I liked them very much. For the whole, I don't know if I even would venture over here. These are just not my shades, really, and so probably this palette is not worth it in my collection as far as taking up space. But the quality of the shadows are there. They're beautiful, it's easy to use, but my new Classics palette that I have in this is much more user-friendly as far as shades, for me, personally. The same thing with the Natasha Denona palette. I love this Glam palette, but there's so many shades that are just not for me, like silvers and um, a lot of the grays. Those are just not, very flattering I think for me and so this is not my favorite palette from Natasha Denona I like it but I don't love it because I feel like there's just a handful of shades that I like to use I love the bronze palette so much more and I think it's just because I'm drawn so much more to those warm tones but if you like cool tones with your eyeshadow this is the one I have on my eyes today by the way you will love this it's a beautiful palette the formula, again, just like with the e.l.f. palette, formula is incredible, but the tones are just not my favorite. Eyeliners, both of these performed so well. I have on the Clinique, the navy blue. I've been having a lot of fun using this liner all month, and I really, really like it. It's a softer look than a black, and it's not quite as warm as the brown, so this has been beautiful. And I like these Pixi eyeliners. If you're at Target and you wanna pick one of these up, I think they have this at CVS or Walgreens as well now. These are really nice. This is a nice formula. I have it in the shade Copper Glow. Very pretty and easy to use. Okay, so that is my stash for this month. In the next segment, you'll see me picking my products for my October stash, and I will come back at the end with some final thoughts. So very quickly, I did film myself actually shopping my stash, but I had major technical issues and I'm having to refilm this a little bit for you because when I went to edit, it was just really bad. <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you the products that I picked. I've already put them in my little organizer and I'm going to share with you the products that I picked. So for primer, for high end, I picked the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I just wanted to try that and give it a little bit more of a review for you guys. I haven't used it that much, but I really would like to test the wear time in particular. And for my drugstore primer, I picked the NYX Marshmallow Primer. It's so popular and I've used it some, but I haven't used it enough to have a very definitive review. And that's really pretty much all of these products. I wanna have a more definitive opinion to share with you all. So those are my primers. For foundation, for high end, I am using the Makeup Forever Reboot. I love this foundation. It's a really nice light to medium foundation. And again, I wanted to use it on a more regular basis. For drugstore for foundation, I wanted to go back to my Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. This is a really beautiful foundation, and right now the um, other Catrice foundation, I think it's so true, or true skin, true skin, is getting a lot of hype, um, but this is a beautiful matte foundation as well, and this will pair nicely with this because this is not matte and a little bit lighter coverage. I decided not to do eyeshadow primers and things like that because that's really not that exciting for you guys. But for concealer, for high end, I'm gonna be using my Giorgio Armani, the Luminous Silk 
concealer, which I have loved for a very long time, but haven't used in a while. So I'm glad to go back to that. And for the drugstore concealer, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Incognito. This is a newer concealer for them. Um, very, very nice. I've only used it a handful of times, so I've liked it both times. For powder, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Powder, um, or Flawless, sorry, Flawless Finish Powder. Um, I have, you know, pan on this, and I have been using this for a while, and it's a really beautiful powder. I picked this powder in particular to compare to a drugstore version that's very similar, and that's this Flower Beauty Light Illusion Powder. I have actually gone through an entire Flower Beauty powder before, and I really love this powder, it's excellent. I wanted to take the time to see if these are actual dupes. I think they are, but I really want to compare them over this month and see, because probably I'm not going to repurchase this, because this is just so good. For my high-end bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Makeup by Mario. This is the bronzer he came out with in his Soft Sculpt. This is the powder. Um, he did come out with a stick as well, a cream bronzer stick, which is very nice, but I'm gonna be using the powder bronzer. And for my drugstore bronzer, I'm going to one of my favorites, which is the Milani. This is the Silky Matte Bronzer. It's so pretty. If you don't have this, it's one of my very favorite bronzers from the drugstore that is absolutely matte. So um, I thought this would be a good time to compare these two as well. For blush, I wanted to use my Jouer Blush Duo. Nobody really talks about these as much anymore, but this is such a beautiful blush formula. This is the shade Rose Gold. And I liked that it came in a little bit smaller packaging. Um, they have some that are in much bigger packaging as well, but this is just perfect. And you have this rose shade, and then you have this as a topper to kind of brighten your cheeks. Really, really pretty. Um, and I thought so fall, I, I mean, it actually goes really nicely with the sweater I have on today, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful blush duo. Again, to compare with Drugstore, I'm gonna go to Milani and I'm gonna use a blush trio. Again, very pretty, just reminds me of fall, beautiful rose shade, and these are two lighter shades that you can put on top. Gorgeous, gorgeous, nice formula. Wanted to compare those two and see if I felt like one was a sure winner or not. Highlighter, I wanted to use my Huda Beauty. I love this highlighter. And there's four different tones, but they all work on my skin, which is really nice. Sometimes companies do this where they have the four tones, but two of them won't work for me at all, and the other two do. So I like the fact that this quad, all of these shades are doable for my skin tone. I believe they have a darker one as well, I'm not sure. But this one is perfect if you have fair to light, maybe even medium skin. I love this highlight quite a bit. For drugstore, I'm picking one of my all-time favorites, and that is the Essence Pure Nude. You just cannot go wrong with this highlight. It is so, so pretty, natural, easy, and the price cannot be beat. <laughs> This month, I decided to pick a face palette from High End and from Drugstore to compare. For my High End face palette, I'm gonna be using my Hourglass. This is, they come out with one of these every year. This is from last year, I believe. This one is the Ambient Lighting Edition Sculpture. I've loved this one for a long time. Of course, it comes with a bronzer, two beautiful blush shades powder and highlights all up on top. So, so pretty. I'm excited to put some time and some effort into using this product. For my drugstore face palette, I'm gonna be using my Joa. This is the Chasing the Sun. And I just, this to me just screams fall. It came out in the summertime and it's beautiful for summer, but look at those shades for fall. Of course you have blush, bronzer, and highlight. And then these are all beautiful eyeshadow shades down below. For my eyeshadow palettes for the month, for the high end, I decided to choose my BK Beauty True Beauty eyeshadow palette. Haven't used this in a while, and just the color scheme is really calling to me right now. So, so pretty. If you're not familiar with BK Beauty, Lisa J Makeup, who's on YouTube and who's one of my very favorite YouTubers to follow, she came out with her own brand called BK Beauty. I use their brushes a ton. You've probably heard me say this is a BK Beauty 101 or whatever brush it is. 
They also came out with an eyeshadow palette. Um, I believe it was last fall and it's a very, very pretty palette. So I wanted to go back to this one. Again, it's kind of giving me fall vibes. To compare that palette, my drugstore choice is the Nudes of New York from Maybelline. And again, what a beautiful fall palette. I love that it has the little hint of purple, just like the BK Beauty palette. So much fun. I'm excited to play with this palette this month as well. That is everything. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Hopefully I can get that together. I didn't realize how bad it was until I started to edit and knew that I couldn't keep that in there for you. It was just not well done at all. So those are my products for my Shop My Stash October 2021. Okay, so you saw my new stash of products. I'm very excited that I added a face palette in. I think that will be really exciting. I'm gonna be using the Hourglass for the high end and the Joa Beauty for the drugstore. I'm excited to try that. All of these products I'm excited to try. I will be filming a get ready with me with my high end products on YouTube this month. And I will be filming a get ready with me with the drugstore products and putting that on Instagram. So be on the lookout for that. And let me know, do you have any of these products? Do you love them? Have you had a bad experience with any of them? I want to get all of your knowledge about these products as well. And of course, I'll be giving you a full review at the end of the month. Thank you so much for taking this journey with me. I've really been enjoying this because I feel like I get a great handle on these products now. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.